Light cameras do get the green light. Good evening. I am Bria Berry. Kansas City Mayor sponsored a bill to bring them back. He wants to better police the city. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is here to explain what's the different this time around and where the cameras will go, Brian. Yeah, Brie, well, there's a lot of changes coming up. If you've driven on Highway 71, you've seen these photo and four signs. You know the ones I'm talking about. We are actually on it right now, taking a left on 55th Street. This is one of the intersections. Now, the council wants the new cameras to be installed equitably. They haven't said where they're going to go, but many will likely end up in the 3rd and 5th districts where most car crashes right now are occurring. Automated camera enforcement moves forward. But this time, the cameras will capture your license plate and a clear photo of you behind the wheel. You'll be mailed a ticket only if the picture matches the photo ID of the vehicle owner. I don't like the traffic cameras. I don't like them. Some hate the cameras because unlike human officers, they have zero nuance with enforcement. It's just a program. You'd be much better off without the red light cameras. It's kind of unneeded. It's unnecessary, especially the fine. $250 is pretty insane. The cameras were stopped in 2013 by the Missouri Court of Appeals. The older cameras couldn't accurately capture the driver, but that's no longer an issue. In March, St. Louis approved the cameras and it's now coming to Kansas City. It keeps people more accountable, right? I like it. I mean, I hope that I don't get a ticket. Maybe it'll make me a little bit more aware of my surroundings, right? In Missouri, cities can't install the cameras just to increase revenues. The city council says this is about enforcement, police short staffing, and record numbers of vehicle crashes and fatalities. Any money generated would go to Vision Zero to improve traffic safety. Anything that slows people down and keeps them going through the red lights, I'm all for. Warning signs will be posted at intersections once the council decides where the cameras will go. Nathan Willett was the only council member to vote no. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. Now, the Police Board of Commissioners must sign off on this idea. The city will also conduct a three-month public awareness campaign so you're not caught off guard.